Hi, betting experts. On Tuesday, the 21st of March, we're off to Yorkshire to Weatherby. On Tuesday, the ground has eased a touch soft, good to soft in places at the time of recording. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the 2.15. This is the RacingTV.com novice hurdle. Class 4, four-year-olds and upwards. Best part of £5,000 to the winner. Nearly two-mile, four-furlong trip. And I think that'll suit Springwell Bay absolutely ideally. Now, John Joe O'Neill had been quiet, but he had a better weekend and he has had a couple of winners in the last 14 days I think they went about 35 runners without a winner but the weekend saw a return to form most of them running really well and Springwell Bay is probably one of the most exciting young horses in the yard um, it was a good ground bump winner on stable debut back in November 2021 obviously had an issue or two off for 11 months before reappearing at Carlisle landing a very short price there despite an indifferent round of jumping on the good to soft ground um, then went to Cheltenham well up in class us ran a blinder behind Fennel Cross in a grade two, off for another 97 days, sent to Ascot, relatively weak in the market, but absolutely bolted up under a confident ride from rear from John Joe O'Neill Jr. over this kind of trip. Now the negative, it has now got a double penalty to lump, which is never easy, 12 stone to give away, and the ground likely to be a bit more testing here, but Springwell Bay is basically a very exciting prospect, and while there are a few interesting runners in this race, um, I think he can defy a double penalty before going on to become a really cracking chaser probably next season our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 250 this is the watch Irish racing on racing TV handicap chase two mile three furlongs and 85 yards a class four for five year olds and upwards over six thousand six hundred pounds to the winner I think everything is primed to click here for Gallic Geordie now Sam Drinkwell which is 10 year old has never been the most prolific of winners often ridden with extreme waiting tactics failed to win one bumper and three three times over hurdles uh, but has won four times over fences from 15 starts four times in the frame just looked a little bit pegged off this sort of mark this season although things just haven't worked out ideally he actually ran a blinder at Lingfield on the 21st of December taking a late fall when moving into things under Robbie Dunn and then a season's best effort at Newbury on soft ground on New Year's Eve when beaten by Gamma Ray. I think last time out, off for 62 days, maybe just needed the run. Um, it was a messy tactical race at Newbury on pretty quick ground, finishing third of four under Schofield. Um, dropped out last initially and never really landing a blow. The ground will be much more suitable this afternoon. Robbie Dunn, who knows Gallic Geordie really well, is back in the plate. And I think things will be set up nicely for a late bid. Best of luck on Tuesday, betting experts. And please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos. Thank you.